So for a lot of you guys, WhatsApp is going to be your number one go-to must-have messaging application. And what I'm about to show you in this video is going to completely change the way you use it. Let's get started. Something you might not have realized is that when you call somebody on WhatsApp, it can use a lot of your data allowance. But there is a solution. Simply heading to settings, data usage, and there's an option called low data usage mode. And to be honest, all this does is slightly lower the audio quality and you can half the amount of mobile data you use. There's also quite a few ways of sending messages. If for example, you want to send something in bold, all you need to do is to have your text nestled in between two star signs and then it'll come out bold. If for example, you want to send a message with a strike through, simply send it in between two underscores. If you want to send your message in italics, all you need to do is to have your text and on either side, you put a tilde. And there are also hidden fonts within WhatsApp. One such example you can find just by finding this sort of apostrophe looking sign and then placing three on either side of your message. It completely changes the way the text looks. It has no functional benefit aside from this, but can catch people off guard. The next one, if you're using a later version of Android or iOS, you can use your respective voice assistant to type the message for you. So say for example, you're in the car and you're driving, you can simply speak to your messenger, voice over the entire message, and then check for spelling errors afterwards. Now one of my favorites, and to be honest, one of the most useful ones on the video, is the ability to take advantage of the blue tick system. So you might know that WhatsApp, when you've read a message, it comes up as two blue ticks on the other person's side. So they know when you've read it, and you kind of have this weird pressure of needing to reply. Having said that, within WhatsApp itself, there is an option to completely deactivate this. Once you have turned this option on, anytime you've read a message, it will simply come up with two grey ticks, which is the same as the message being delivered, but the person actually won't know at all if you've read it or not. Now, the problem with this, the only real downside, is that if you turn this option on for yourself, you can no longer see the same for other people. So you won't know when they've read your message, and this can become kind of irritating. But have no fear, because there are some third-party applications, I'll link one of them down below, in which once you download and install them and use them, when people message you, you can open their messages through these applications, read them, and they will have no idea whatsoever. And at the same time, you can also retain the privilege of being able to see when they've read your message. It's genius. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a third-party app, there is another way. If you ever receive a message and want to read it, simply turn on airplane mode, then read the message entirely, and close the app before turning off airplane mode. The reason why this works is that without any internet connection, WhatsApp doesn't have a clue what you're doing. Now, something I've started using quite recently is custom notifications. So within most people's WhatsApp, they are carrying out a lot of different kinds of conversations. Some are work-related, some are family-related, some are friend-related, and sometimes without picking up and checking your message, it would be nice to know which one is which. So by setting custom notifications, you can actually, for example, you could change the amount of vibration depending on what type of message it is. You could change the sound effect that occurs because of it, and you can even change the color of your notification LED depending on the type of message. So for example, it's quite a good way of separating home and work if you're using the same phone for both. Also another one which to be honest I've seen nobody use is the ability to send GIFs. So if you open up the camera within WhatsApp, and take a video which is under six seconds long, then you can automatically convert that to a GIF. And this will take up not only less data on your phone and their phone to send and receive, but it'll also auto replay. I would say one of the main problems people have with WhatsApp is it starts to become very congested. If like me, you're part of a lot of group chats where a lot of unnecessary memes are sent, then your phone can clog up quite quickly because by default, WhatsApp downloads everything. So what I would recommend you do is to go into your settings and turn this off. And then that means that if you want to download selectively, you can do that. But by default, you won't end up with gigabytes of random videos you don't need at all. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful and I hope it made you a smarter messenger. With that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss and I'm signing out.